good to us. Yes, Amen. He's so good to us. We thank God for what He's doing every day. Yes, every day is. is a great day. Yes, every, day is. Is a great day. Yes, every day is a great day. Yes, every day is a great day. You can just wake up and just say, thank you, Jesus. Yes. Thank you, Jesus, for what you have done in our life. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. We want to welcome everyone to a new beginnings outreach in the national. You may be watching YouTube or Ustream. We just want to thank God on today. Like my wife said, she had a thankful spirit last week. We had a thankful spirit today, today. Amen. We just thank for every day because he didn't have to do it, but he did. Amen. And we're just going to go right into the word. You know, pray for those who are coming. If they is, praise God. We get it in one, two, three, four. It don't matter. Hallelujah. The word goes forth. Amen. And today we're going to be talking about plan to be victorious. And we've been talking about vision. This whole month, we're going to continue to talk about vision uh, because the Lord wants us to, to know our vision, know our purpose, amen, to be a light as well as to plan, amen. So we're going to be talking about planning today, amen. And um, I'm going to talk about a few things. He said, from my understanding, great battles are won because people have the result of planning or great planning and having strategies which bring victories and to become victorious. Amen. Amen. It says, if we go into the second month of the year, we need to make sure that we have a strategy. Yes. We have to make sure that we have a plan set in order Amen. to press or to aim to. Amen. Amen. So we have to set some goals. Amen. I, I talk about goal setting a lot because, yes. you know, I want to make sure that I achieve what I got set. Amen. Amen. First scripture we're going to jump to is going to be Proverbs 20 and 18. Proverbs 20 and 18. I probably have about seven scriptures one today. We're going to break out today. So Proverbs 20 and 18. Again, it's plan to be victorious. Amen. Yes. You got to know you want to go somewhere. Amen. amen. I don't want to be stuck in what I used to be. Yes. I want to progress. Each yes. year I want to progress. Yes. You know, not trying to be better than no one, but I'm just trying to be better than what I was. Amen. amen. That's all we want to do is be better than what we were. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Proverbs 20 and 18. When you get it, say amen. amen. And it amen. says, make plans by seeking advice. If you wage war, obtain guidance. And what they're talking about right here says, seek advice. Amen. It says nothing wrong with seeking advice. You could ask me or ask anyone. Amen. Mm -hmm. And that's what I be telling the congregation. Hey, if you need some help, ask somebody. You know what yeah. I mean? If you've got a question, ask. Yeah. You yeah. know what I mean? And what a teacher used to tell me when I was little, said, there's never a wrong answer. Right? There's mm -hmm. never a stupid question. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. So you got to ask something. Amen. Amen. And it says uh, taxes is coming up. Amen. Amen. I've been talking about this. It, Two, it says, be wise and seek advice, amen? amen, and let's pray over the next move that you make, amen? amen. We have to pray like, man, Lord, we don't want to get uh, blessed and then at the same time be broke again. I know people be watching the little Facebook pictures, mm -hmm. you might see the, uh, the little African baby dancing, uh -huh. and then see the little other African baby with a little outfit on. Yeah, yeah. They say before taxes, after taxes. Uh -huh. Then it might be another one. Uh, I seen one had four of them. Had a little broke person walking, then they had the bus, then they had the car, then they went back to walking. Mm -hmm. I'm just like, man, we can't be like that. You know Amen. what I mean? You, you see a lot right. of temp tags riding around. You, you see did. a lot of people riding clean, fresh. Mm -hmm. That's cool. You know, you're supposed to bless yourself, but also Let's maintain the blessing. Amen. Amen. Let's plan to be victorious. Yeah, Amen. Yeah. So we have to seek advice for our next move. Amen. Amen. And then it says, yeah. if you wage war, obtain guidance. Uh -huh. Meaning, mm -hmm. don't go in anything blind. Amen. Know what you're going up against. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Knowing what's on the other side. You know what I mean? Like I be telling people, don't just jump into something because it might be something that you can't get out of. Yeah. You know, or like I say, back to those pictures on Facebook, people losing those things that they uh -huh. get. Amen. Uh -huh. Jump into something with high interest rate that you can't amen. afford in the first place. You know what I mean? Getting something that you know you cannot afford. Amen. amen. Trying to keep up with the Joneses. You know, true enough, people be being blessed, but you can wait. Yes. You know what I mean? We're going to talk about it's a set time for those things. Amen? Amen. So please, please, everyone, watching, if you're watching mm -hmm. YouTube, Facebook, you, you stream, yes. pray for your next move. Amen? Amen. We're going to still be in Proverbs. We're going to go into Proverbs 15 and 22. Proverbs 15 and 22. And it reads, it says, Plans fail for the lack of counsel. But with many advisors, they succeed. Amen. Like I said, you will fail when you fail to plan. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? That's what people love to say. So we have to make sure that we plan so we won't fail. Amen. Amen. And you plan 
uh, most times so you can succeed in things. But if you do not plan, you're going to, you know, fail all the time. You know, sometimes it can be a short goal or it can be something. Just write it down. Like when you go to the grocery store, if you don't write that grocery list, you're going li to lose and forget something. Yeah. So you have to be like, make sure you write a list down. Because if not, you're going to like, oh, I forgot the ketchup. Or I forgot some paper plates. So I knew I forgot some juice. I came here for some juice. And don't let you go to Walmart. You're going to leave everything, you know. Yeah. You're going to come out with stuff that you wouldn't, you know, trying to get in the first place. Uh -huh. You know, pots and pans, bikes, all that. You can supposed to just go get some juice. So you got to make sure that you write the stuff down. Amen. 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 So it says we have to seek counsel in this year. Yeah. You know, with our spiritual leaders, your pastor, etc. People who have been through some things or yeah. been through some places where you're trying to go. Amen. Amen. We got to ask what's around the corner. What, what's yeah. up there? Yeah. What do I need to look out for? Amen. Yeah. We have to seek counsel when we're planning to be victorious. Yeah. Because someone has already been there or someone has mm -hmm. been through some things. And if you don't understand, ask a question. Like man, how did you how did you get that? How did you do this? How did you do that? So make sure that we planning to be victorious. Amen. Amen. We're gonna still be in Proverbs, Proverbs nineteen and twenty one. Proverbs is so good because it talks about wisdom. Amen. It talks yeah. about wisdom. It talks about things that we need to do. We need to be wise in this season. Amen. Uh -huh. Especially when we got a lot of money coming in. And not just hundreds, thousands, amen. Uh -huh. We gotta make sure yeah. that we, we use it correctly. Yeah. Yes. Proverbs 19 and 21. And it reads, it says, Many are the plans in a man's heart, but the Lord's purpose that hold it, hold it. Many are the plans in a man's heart, but it is the Lord's purpose that prevails. Now that brings us right back. As we're setting our goals and as we're mm -hmm. planning things, make sure that we know that we are God's plan. Amen. 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 Make sure that our plans, our plans kind of line up with the plans that the Lord has for us. Amen. Yeah. We may have goals, but we have to make sure that our plan is in God's plan. Amen. Amen. We have to Amen. make sure that our plan are in his plan. It says, in all your planning, you should be in his plan. Amen. No matter what life brings you, the Lord has a plan for you. Amen. Yes. And that's what I like to do. Anything that I do, I make sure that I can put Jesus in it. Amen. You know what I mean? So if you can't put Jesus in your plan, that means that plan might fall. Amen. Amen. That means that plan might be kind of, you know, shady sometimes. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? If you try to be... Running away from the Lord. Amen. And now this is going to talk about the plans that he has for us. This is mm -hmm. a, a scripture we've been talking about all month. Amen. Amen. Jeremiah 29 and 11. So we got to make sure that all plans are in his plan. Amen. And he already has plans for us. Amen. Amen. Jeremiah Amen. 29 and 11. I think that's a couple books over. Mm -hmm. From Proverbs. What's about two, three? Two, three books over. So Jeremiah 29 and 11. Plans to be victorious. And this is practical teaching today, you know, because we need to learn how to live. Amen. <laughs> you know, a lot of people just want to get out here and blow their bread or yeah. home and balling out. Taxes, you see people putting up their money on Facebook. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? You see people putting up their G's up. Oh, that's cool. Mm -hmm. But, you know, you got to watch out because some people are seeking you know, the devil's always looking That's what he can right. do. You know what I mean? Yeah. People looking, oh, you got that money. Okay. You know what I mean? People putting their yeah. business out there. Everybody know everybody blessed. So just walk in it. Don't go flashing. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because yeah. yeah. a lot of people ain't got taxes. A lot of people might be out there hungry. You know? Yeah. So we yeah. just got to watch it. I'll be just seeing, even young ladies, let's see, you know, young ladies putting their money up. I'm like, man, that ain't good. You know? Amen. You got to be cautious. There's some crazy That's times right. right now. Yes, it is. Man, hallelujah. Jeremiah 29, 11 says, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not harm you, plans mm -hmm. to give you hope and the future. Amen. Amen. It says, plans to prosper you, not to harm you, plans mm -hmm. of hope, plans of a future. Like, like Joseph, he had to make sure that he had plans to have his abundance when a drought was coming. Yeah. Or when the famine was coming. Amen. Joseph knew, okay, I had this dream when I was a child that it's going to be some fat calves and it's going to be also some mm -hmm. lean ones. So that means it's going to be a drought coming up. Yeah. Amen. So whenever you got these G's or you got these bands or you got extra, make sure that you put up something for rainy days. Yeah. Amen. Make sure you put up something for emergencies, you know, because we really don't know. If you got cars, maintenance always yeah. has to happen. Amen. Amen. If you got bills, you know bills going to come every month. Amen. 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 Make sure that you position yourself in a 
a way that you can be victorious. Yes. Because the Lord, he gives you increase. Amen. Yes, but you got to seek counsel of what you should do for your increase. Yes. Amen. You know, we're a new ministry. We're not going to be like other ministries. Oh, we want y'all to raise a $1,000. That's when they give you them, them cards. Yes. You know what I mean? Tax season, they be like, here you go. Okay. Make a pledge. Oh, yeah. You know yes. what I'm saying? Mm. Uh, if you marry, I need both of y'all to double yes. up. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we ain't going to be like that. We're going to say what you doing with your, your tax money? We're going to pray with you. You know what I'm saying? Amen. Whatever you're going to do, praise God. We're going to make yes. sure that you sustain yourself. Amen? Amen. Because my philosophy, what I tell my, my church, God first, family, yes. then church. Amen. You know what I mean? Amen. Because if you don't take care of your family, how are you going to take care of a church? That's you know right. what I mean? If you don't take care of yourself, how are you going to take care of someone else? Amen. But you got to know what you're going to do with your finances. Yes. Amen. I'm a big dude on finances, and I know I don't like to be broke, and I don't want to see people broke. Amen. Amen. And I don't want to see people, you know, even getting hoodwinked by ministries. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I need, we got this going on. We got this going on. We got mm -hmm. building fund this, building fund that. We got fundraising. Mm -hmm. That's cool, fine and dandy. But mm -hmm. at the same time, if something come up and then they don't get what they say they're going to yes. get, what are about that money that you done gave? Amen. I don't play that. Uh, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's that's not right. Because Amen. now you get no going to people. You taking their hard earned money, their taxes right. and all that when they could have did something else for their family. Amen. You know what Amen. I mean? And and that's what I'm big on. I'm big on family. I'm big on prospering, but also making sure that our plan lines up with God's plan. Amen. Amen. Whenever we're gonna go out here and do outreach, we should never lack anything. Amen. Right. So if everybody Amen. in here working, praise God. Everybody get Amen. taxes. Praise Amen. God. So that means the ministry as a whole has finances. Amen. Yes. Not, you don't have to just give it to us. Yes. But we're going to be like, we got this going on. What y'all think about this? We ain't going to be doing them $1,000 here, yes. $2,000 here. You know, no. You know no. what I mean? Especially if you ain't got nothing. You know what I mean? Amen. What we going to have a building for fun and we in the shop? You know what I'm yes. saying? Or what we going to have a building for fun for and we already in the building? Uh -huh. These things that just be, you know, I've been through church a lot. You know, I know I probably going to yes. step on a lot of pastors' toes, but you know, the truth Amen. will set you free. Amen. You know what I mean? What Amen. is you doing with these people's That's finances? Right. And then when the people going Amen. through, they ain't got nowhere to turn to. Amen. You know what I'm saying? The Lord is leading me, Lord, out of this now. You know what I mean? Now the, the people are hurting for Amen. real because they thinking they can come to you for refuge, Amen. but you just using them. I don't, I don't, I don't like that, man. Because Amen. you know that's why people don't go to church now because that's they feel right. like, oh man, I don't want to go to church because all they want is my money, uh -huh. right? Or I don't want to go because you know what I mean all they talking about is this and tithes and this. No, we believe mm -hmm. in the principles, but we want y'all to use those principles at home. Yeah, we man. want you to use the advice at home. You know yeah, what I mean? Whenever you're yeah. going to do something, like okay, hey pastor, this is what we got going on. Uh -huh. We want to do this. Okay, praise God. All right, well, how about you just wait a minute? You know what I mean? Yeah. Just hold up. You know, yeah. put your tax money up, work a couple checks, and then let's yeah. go get it. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Man. Don't just jump out there. Oh, I need a check. No. Mm -hmm. Because we have to use wisdom. Amen. You know what I mean? Use wisdom. You know what I mean? Amen. Praise God. Keep paying your tithes, whatever. See, but some people be like, pay your tithes on your taxes. Uh, you already been take, paying tithes all year. Amen. You know what I'm saying? Amen. So you really want to pay double? You know, so a lot of these things are psychological where people try to get over on yeah. you. You know what I mean? So yeah. I'm just going to let it be known. How you going to pay tithes on something you already been paying tithes Amen. on all year? Amen. You know what I mean? So I'm just, just being real because I've seen a lot of this stuff that the people try to get over on the body and yes. it's not right. No, That's why not. we suffering. You know what uh, I mean? That's why people stay broke. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Churches and Amen. ministries losing buildings and all this because they trying to get over on the people. Amen. I, I'm just, I'm, I'm going to say cry loud or spare not. I'm, I'm telling the truth, man. Amen. You want your people to be blessed. So when yes. you do ask for a thousand dollar seed, they got it. Amen. <laughs> you know what I mean? They Amen. got it anyway. Yeah. Because they did right with their money. Because you Amen. gave them the word and you ain't just try to take their money. Amen. Man. Amen. I be, I be so sick of that type of stuff. You know, but we're gonna be wise. Amen. amen. We're gonna amen. be wise. Whatever we got coming in, we're gonna pray over it, amen. amen. We're gonna see what our next mission is. We're gonna see what we gotta do and make sure that the plan amen. is in the Lord. Because the plan he says, right. I have plans to prosper you. Yes. How you gonna be prospered if you giving up all amen. your finances? Come on now. Amen. How you gonna prosper if you giving all this to the man who really ain't even God? We just a mouthpiece. Yeah. Amen. amen. You gotta believe in something to give into that. Amen. Uh -huh. We're not just doing Doing this, you know, another thing <laughs> I see people like, oh, make sure you sign this before you leave. Talking about you gonna do this pledge. Lord Jesus. Mm -hmm. 
You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Sign this. So really, you signing a contract stating that you're going to give out this amount yeah. of money. And if you don't give up this amount of money, the Lord going to curse you. The devil is a lie. You cannot be cursed if you already blessed. You know what I mean? And whatever the man try to say is, oh, if you don't do this, you go, no. Nah. If you don't tithe, that's on you. <laughs> you know, it's a principle. Give and it shall be given. And that's what people don't understand. You can give your time, your talent, and alms. Alms, if you see somebody, like today I seen a young man at the gas station. He just put five in. You know, I was waiting to get engaged in some talking, but he was already looking upside my head, so we didn't even go to there. You know, I mean, I probably could have gave him more than what he put in the tank, but he wasn't receptive. He was just looking up, you know, upside my head. But anyway, we got to make sure, man, we ain't going to be like them other people. Amen. You know what I'm saying? Because people need to be blessed. And arms, you see people, like I tell my wife, if you see them two days in a row, give them something the first day. The second day, they got something. Now, now that's their hustle. But if you see somebody really struggling, they need something, that's an arm. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. Some family, they need something. Money, mm -hmm. gas, whatever. That's an arm. Talent, working for the church. Yeah. Outreach, you know what I mean? Yeah. Give me your time. And yeah. your finances. I'll say it's a principle. You give, it shall be given back to you. Yeah. Press down, shaking together, yeah. and running yeah. over. That's Luke 6 and 38. So that's what we got to know. We yeah. can't get trapped up in this new age of money scheming. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Right, because, man... man Tax season, they, they proud now. They, oh, yeah, we having a building for in this month. Why we got to do it on tax season? Why can't we have it? You know what I mean? Amen. I just, I just, I don't agree with that, y'all. Like I said, I might be stepping on a lot of people told like, oh, so look, you just saying that because you in the shop. Hey, I don't care. You know what I mean? I'll be the same way. You get your taxes, do what you got to do with it. But you use wisdom. Because at the end of the day, at the end of the month, when you come back and say, Pastor, we don't got this. I'm going to say, what happened to us? Uh -huh. The thousands that you had, yeah. you know what I'm saying? What happened to that? What did you do with it? You know what I mean? Amen. And then also, when you're going to get some things, take somebody who has some information about it. Don't just go get this type of car. Don't just get Amen. this type of house. Know what it's going to be like in an outcome. You know yes. what the outcome going to be? Can you afford it? Is it a high interest rate good? You know what I mean? Right now, what I'm teaching, we need to make sure that our credit is together. Amen. Amen. Everybody in the church need to make sure that our credit is together. Yeah. So if you got your money, let's go get you a bank account. Yeah. Let's get you a credit, you know, Amen. score, get you a secure credit card. Let's get yourself together. Yeah. Because if we are a small church and we got finances of our own, yeah. amen, and we got good credit, whenever we try to go get something, it ain't even going to be hard. Amen. amen. Whenever you're trying to get something, well, you can get it because of the plans that you put before you. I told yes. my wife, I said, babe, this is our plan. Amen. We got a two-year plan. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. We're going to be in this situation in two years. Mm -hmm. And that's what we're going to talk about, too. we talk about the set time of some yeah. things. People just want to jump out there. No, take your time. Amen. 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 Take your time. Plan for those things. Yes. Amen. Because like Joseph, he planned to make sure that the abundance was there even when the drought came because it could sustain them. Yes. Even when a drought comes, you got to be sustained. Yes. Amen. And when you're talking about wealth or you're talking about mm -hmm. finances, wealth means up to a certain amount of time mm -hmm. without anybody in the house working. Yes. You know what I mean? 90 days is being wealthy. If you got uh -huh. 90 days worth of money with nobody working and everything can steadily flow, mm -hmm. you're wealthy. Yeah. People are like, oh man, I'm balling. But can you take care of your house if you don't work for 90 days? Yeah. You know what I mean? That's what we got to look for. That's what we need to put up. If you get 10 G's from taxes, uh -huh. see what you got to pay in 90 days and yeah. put that up. Yeah. So now you can really walk in purpose. Yeah. Now you can really walk and know that you have prosperity. Amen. 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 So then when time comes and you need to sow seed or when you need to help someone, it won't hurt nothing. Amen. 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 And that's what I, I, I practice in my home. Hey, Amen. this is what we need to do. Babe, we need to do it like this. We need to do it like this because we're budgeting and we get yes. ready for where if something happens. If I get sick, she gets sick. We got to make sure that we have something in place yes. because we're planning to be victorious. Yes. Anything comes, we good. Amen. Amen. And, that, and that's not trying to boast, but that's trying to be a good steward of what the Lord gives you. Amen. Amen. And that's what time it is. Yes. So while you're planning, stay in God's plan. Yes. He said, I have plans for your future. Yes. Amen. So if the Lord yes. is talking about our future, why we ain't talking about our future? Oh, yeah, Amen. Why we not talking about our Amen. future? People talking about the now. Praise God. We thank God for now. Uh -huh. But what about next week? Yes. You know, what about yes. tomorrow? Uh -huh. Amen. But even yes. in the word it talks about, don't worry about tomorrow because uh -huh. the Lord is going to yes. take care of you. Uh -huh. Amen. People be like, oh man, dude, I ain't got this or I ain't got that. Uh -huh. Don't worry worry about it. Amen. Know the Lord got you, but still plan. Amen. You know what I mean? Amen. Still plan. 
Now we're going to go to Hosea. You don't got to go. I'm just going to read it because I wrote it down. It's a hard book to find. It says, <laughs> Hosea 4 and 6, is that my people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. Amen. Amen. And this is knowledge that we get. Praise God. We come to church. Praise God. We're going to shout, but we need to know what's going on. Amen. I just can't keep on making y'all shout and making y'all be like, oh, man, that was good. And then we go out and do some foolishness with what we got. Amen. Yes. We got to be real. And I'm going to be yes. real with you. You know what I mean? Yes. I want y'all to prosper. I want y'all to be blessed. Yes. I want you to have knowledge. I want you to ask questions. Yes. I want you to know these things. So when something comes up and if can't nobody talk to you at that time, you can just pray to the Lord for yourself. Amen. Amen. Yes. You already know what to do. Amen. Yes. It says my people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. Yes. Ain't knowledge. nobody giving That's you right. nuggets like this. You know what I mean? Amen. Ain't no because they trying to take something from you. Oh, yeah. Give me this. Give me this money. Give me this money. Oh, we got this. We got a bake sale. Ain't nothing wrong with it. We're going to be doing plenty of those things. Mm -hmm. Amen. But right now, in this season, we want you to be blessed. Yes. We want you to be blessed. Amen. We want to give you the knowledge. We want to give you the things that you need for this journey ahead. Yes. You know what I mean? It just don't stop this month. Amen. <laughs> you know what I mean? Don't nothing just stop this month. Stuff That's going to steadily right. come. Yes, you know what I mean? That's why I tell my wife, man, uh-uh. <laughs> She be like, oh, but uh, -uh. you know what I mean. But we gotta know how to do it. Yeah. Yeah. I said we're gonna be a church with the guap and still be in the shop. Before Amen. we even jump out there and try to get a building, uh -huh. we need to be wealthy church. Amen. We need to have three months or more to take care of the church before we jump out there. Yeah. Because if not, we're gonna be a laughing stock of the community. Amen. How they try to make us, you know what I mean? Uh -huh. Oh yeah, they jumped out there. No, no, uh -huh. we gonna be blessed. But we're going to also be blessed at home before we be blessed in the church. Yes. That's the key. If your home took care of, everything mm -hmm. else would be a blessing. Amen. Everything else will flow because we are in his plans. Amen. Amen. He said plans to prosper you. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So if all of us is prospering uh -huh. and we make the body so the whole church is a prosperous church. Amen. 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 Everybody's needs is taken care of. Every, so far I've been seeing everybody got to work and everybody... Mm -hmm. Driving, cool. Yes. Let's keep it that way. Yes. Amen. Yes. So then at the end of the month, instead of us just sowing a seed for a building fund, let's gather up some money for this single mother who don't got a car. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Everybody, okay, yes. let's throw yes. some money. Let's get this girl. We found her a nice little fifteen hundred dollar car. Everybody throw a hundred. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Fifteen yes. people, that's fifteen hundred. Now yes. she blessed. Now who yes. next in the ministry needs to yes. be blessed? You know what I'm saying? Yes. That's how we build kingdom yes. ministries. Yes. That's how we build community. Yes. That's how we Man. Just get into their atmosphere. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Some people can't do it. Okay, mm -hmm. this is what we do. Ain't no builder fund. We're going to do plans for you fund. Yeah. Okay, you need this? Praise God. Some parents don't have nothing to get their kids for school. Come on, yeah. Okay, we got a committee. Everybody throw a hundred. Boom. Uh -huh. Here you go. You know what yeah. I mean? We're going to send some uh, a good, wise person with them. Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. this is what y'all you, need school clothes. We ain't about to blow nothing. Amen. We're going to use it for the glory of God because it says, yeah. make sure that our plans are in his plans. Yeah. So as we're prospering, we can still stay in outreach. Yeah. We can still stay in preaching the gospel. Yeah. We can still yeah. stay in the vein of building a church yeah. by yeah. us being prosperous. Yeah. You know what I mean? We're going to get the church. The church is going to do its thing because we the body. So uh -huh. if everybody already wealthy, that means your church is wealthy. Yeah. You know what I mean? Your church don't necessarily have to have the thousands there, yeah. but if we can be there, we can make sure that the community is taken care of yeah. first. Amen. Amen. So as we in the shop, we're going to make sure we take care of the needs of the people. Amen. Letting them know you need to know what's going on. Don't just, yeah. just spend frivolously. You yeah. know what I mean? Uh -huh. You just can't spend your money like that. Amen. Because somebody else needs it. Amen? Amen. Somebody need to be helped out. Now we're going to go to, uh, what's this, Habakkuk 2, 2 through 4. This is another, I had to look at the beginning of the book to find that. This is in the middle of a lot of those last books of the Old Testament, it's uh, after Nahum and right before Zephaniah in the Old Testament. You guys can jump there real quick. Habakkuk 2 and 2. We're going to go to 2 through 4. This is 7 and 2. And all these scriptures just touching on plans. Amen. Planning. Amen. Getting ready for things. Two and two. And this is the, the main scripture of today. I just put them other ones in there just to get us into the word. Amen. I'm really Amen. talking today, but I'm letting you know this stuff is Bible based. Amen. 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 He wants us to know wisdom. He wants us to know the ways of him. But make yeah. sure our plans are in his plans. 
We can still Amen. be blessed and be in the Lord. Amen. 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 Rebecca 2 and 2. Yeah. Y'all got it? It's kind of in between those minor properties. It's hard to find. That's why I had to go to the front <laughs> to find that exact page. And the Lord loves when we try to learn. Amen. Yeah, man. He loves yeah. when we try to better ourselves. Yeah. We plan to be victorious. We don't want to be like how we used to be. When I was in the world, you go to the club, flash mm -hmm. your money in the pictures, you know what I mean? Go buy all the VIP. But look at all that money that you wasted. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Going to make it rain. Look at all those, you know. Yeah. Man, I said, I refuse. Mm -hmm. And then when you're in the world, you take losses. You know what I mean? Now when yeah. you in Christ, the loss might be, you know, getting some fix on your cars. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Paying a, a bill up to date. All that. Them is real losses, too. But people yeah. want to just waste their money, man. Yeah. We ain't going to waste it. We're going to be wise. Man. We want to be prosperous. We want to bless people who ain't got nothing. Because it's always somebody who's worse than Amen. we are. Amen? Yes. We got to be a blessing. Two and two, it says, Then the Lord replied, Write down the revelation and make it plain on the tablets so that the herald may run with it. Amen. Amen. And it says, For the revelation awaits an appointed time. It said, It speaks of an end. And it says, It will not prove false. It said, Though it linger, wait for it. It will certainly come and will not delay. So that's talking about write it down. Amen. Run with it. Amen. Everything has a point in time. Yes. You can prosper if you do everything right. Amen. You can prosper if you do everything right. Like I say, if you get paid every two weeks, put 50 mm -hmm. up. $50, that's nothing, but that'll be $100 a month. Yeah. $100 a month will turn to $1,200 a month. Amen. You do that for two years, that's $2,400. Amen. Amen. You do it for three, it'll just multiply. Amen. That's how you can bless yourself. Amen. Amen. Make sure, okay, here you go, boom, put this up, put this up. Now you're being good stewards of what you give, amen? Yeah. But also, you can still sow your seed to people's time, talent, or arm, you know what I mean? Oh, Whatever amen. you choose to do, it's a principle, amen? amen? We practice and let our people know that as you give to the church, you'll be blessed, amen? But we ain't going to make sure that you're not taking care of home. Amen. We want you to take care of home, amen? Because at the end of the day, when you can't make it to church, you know what I mean? You got to know how to worship the money at home. Amen. amen. We don't want to get you so fixated to where you got to pay this or pay that. No, man. Time is running out. Money and all this stuff is really going to be obsolete pretty soon. So, you know what I mean? It doesn't really matter, amen? The truth be told. You know, nothing matters. Not the economy system or none of that. But the plans of the Lord. Amen. He coming back for his church. He said, repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. So that means yes. as we work and as we're tolling and doing these, make sure that our plan lines up with his plan. Amen. That's it. Jesus Christ, he died for the sins of the world. Oh, yes, so as we being blessed, make sure that we being in a position to bless others. Yes. Amen. Preaching the gospel, helping people out because that's what he did. He came yes. and he made sure that people had life more abundantly. Yes, if you don't have life more abundantly, that's your fault. Uh -huh. Because you are not paying attention. Because you're not asking, what shall I do? Amen. Yes. Like they said, what shall I do to be saved? Yes. It was a whole thing changing in the other people's lives. So they said, what can I do to be like that? Yes. They was asking a question. Amen. Yes. They was wondering, how can I be prosperous like well, that? Yes. The reason that we can be prosperous is because we take an initiative to plan. Amen. Plan yes. to be victorious. Amen. Whatever you got a plan for, let's do it. Whatever you got to set a goal for, mm -hmm. let's do it. Amen. And the way we can do it is put Jesus in the mix. Lord God, yes. this is what I got. This is my plan. I want this to be a great year. Lord God, I want to make my finances multiply. Yes. And the way you can do it is giving. Yes. Amen. Giving to people who need something. Giving to your church. Giving yes. to others. Giving to your family members. Yes. Amen. And then just standing on the word. Amen. Because the Lord wants you to know that people will be destroyed for the lack of knowledge. Meaning if you don't know, ask somebody. Mm -hmm. Lord God, help me out with this next yes. move. You know what I mean? So, and that's yes. what I, I wish everybody would have been up in here, but they probably got their taxes. Uh, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? It's tax season, so ain't no telling where people at. But it's gonna be on YouTube and you stream so they can check it out because we have to plan to be victorious. You know, I don't want I don't want to be teaching this and then you come back, oh man, such and such. I'm like, well, didn't you just get paid? Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Didn't you just get paid? Didn't you just do this? Or uh, you ain't paid tithes? You know what I'm saying? In a minute, yeah. what 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 are you doing? Amen. Yeah, I don't care if you pay them or not. That's on you and God. That's yeah. right. You know what I mean? We, right. we ain't worried about none of that. But the thing is, it's a principle. You sow, 
you yeah, reap. Yeah, he yeah. gives seed to the sowers. Amen. Yeah, and that's why every time I go to a church anniversary, mm -hmm. I'm boom, I'm giving. Amen. Because I know it's going to come back to me. Amen. Amen. I said, let's do it, baby. Boom. Give it. Give it. Give it to the own ministry. You know what I mean? Yes. I said, if I can give thousands and thousands to other ministries, yes. I might as well do it to mine. Amen. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no sense for me to sign no thing and make you feel pressure. You know what I mean? Before we go, hey, did y'all get these? Sign these contracts and put them in. I'm just like, wow. What type of Jesus is this? No, you making me feel pressure to give this. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? You will be cursed. If y'all don't give that money, God's going to... Mm -hmm. No, God ain't going to do none of that. No. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He ain't going to do none of that. He's going to still percent. bless me. How you going to make me feel like I'm cursed because I don't give you some money? Uh -huh. That's not the right. You know what I mean? Alive. He is alive. If you got yes, it, give. <laughs> right. If you got it, give. If you don't, praise God. Amen. Amen. You have to know... How you feel. Amen. And it says, don't give it with a grudging heart. Amen. You know, if you got to be like, oh, man, I don't feel this. Well don't give it. Problem. Right. <laughs> you have to keep it. You know Amen. what I mean? Because then it will, it will not be in the same effect as That's if you right. gave it cheerfully. Amen. Cheerfully so whenever, man, they needed to be here today. This is good teaching. Uh -huh. Whenever Amen. someone say, oh, if you got something, give. You know what I mean? Amen. If you if you don't got it, cool. But yeah. if you're like, man, I really don't want to give it. Just uh -huh. keep it. Because Amen. then it's going to be like, a tainted seed. Yes. You know what yes, I mean? You know how when you go to the grocery store, oh, yes, you yes. go to the grocery store, you look at the apples or the mm -hmm. melons, you know what I mean? You're yes. like, man, is this good? You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You got to make sure that what you give is good. Amen. So when it go into good ground, it can grow. You know what I mean? Amen. And that's what people got to understand. When you got to Seed, uh -huh. you got to make sure you know what you name in that seed. Right. I'm planting this seed to go and do Amen. this. I'm planting this seed to do that. Amen. Amen. Because sometimes your seed takes time. Yes. Like it says in the word, it says the appointed time. Uh -huh. Amen. When you're sowing seeds, there's always a harvest coming. Yes, it is. Yes, and the harvest is going to prosper you to the yes. next level. Yes. And that's what we thank God for. He said the plans uh -huh. to prosper you. Not to harm you. Oh, plans yeah. of hope. Plans for your future. Amen. Uh -huh. Amen. I want to be super blessed. So when Amen. the time comes, somebody come in who really need to be super blessed, yes. we can super bless them. Amen. Like Amen. I say, ain't no sense for people to be walking. Ain't no sense yeah. for people to be catching the bus. You know what I mean? I can see mm -hmm. if you in that place or your job may be far, you might go to the Metro Link. You know how they have the parking lot, parking right. there, hop on. That's cool. But if we see somebody in the ministry who really yes. love on God, really giving their time, let's make sure that, that they be blessed. Amen. Amen. We, we go check out people's houses. Like we're going to do some outreach coming up soon. And we see the people's mothers need something. Uh -huh. We need to adopt a family. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, Our yeah. church, we cool. We we gonna adopt y'all. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Meaning we gonna be coming and checking on y'all. What y'all yeah, need? Yeah. What y'all need? You know what I mean? Because some people can't make it to church. They might have about five, six kids. You yeah, know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, yeah, they yeah. can't do that. But we gotta service them. Yeah. Pull yeah. up. Yeah. Yeah. All right. We got boom boom. You know what I mean? Yeah. It is y'all food yeah. for the yeah. month. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Some yeah. people can't have a. It's just a lot of stuff that people yeah. don't yeah. express. Yeah. You know what I mean? But if we come there and yeah. be that light to them, they be like, yeah. man. When I was right. growing up, it was his church. Like you know what I mean? Amen. It was his church. It yeah. was his pastor with braids and gold. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. And his whole church loved us. Yeah. You know what I mean? They made sure that we was clothed. Right. Made sure that we was fed. Yeah. They made sure that, that we was there, even though we didn't even go to their church. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. People were like, oh, you got to be on my road if I'm oh, going to give Lord you something. Jesus. No, it shouldn't be like that. No, like you know what I'm saying? Like it that. shouldn't be like that. It should be like, if you got a need, we need to give Amen. it to you. Yeah. Like when Jesus, they was talking about this on uh, the little anniversary. He said when Jesus went to the place, he said, anybody got any food? It was a little boy. He had two fish and five yes. loaves. Come on now. You know what I mean? And the people was hungry. Yes, he didn't did. say, y'all don't go to my church. Or he was in a whole different little city. Uh -huh. He right. said, who hungry? Yes. And he, he blessed it. He took it. He yes, blessed he made, yes. he made enough for everybody yes. and fed everybody. So that means the people's Thank need, it was a spiritual need yes. and it was a physical need. Amen. And we got to make sure that we're prosperous to give all of those out. Yes. It says at the end of the day, people say, a lot of pastors say, when I'm going, I want to be emptied out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We got to make sure that we emptied out. Yeah. Amen. You know, we got to make sure that we balling out for God. Amen. Amen. We can make it rain for the kingdom. Yeah. Amen. You need something, here you go. 
You Amen. know what I'm saying? Being a blessing because it's going to come right back. Yes, it it's is. It's going to come right back. Amen. Because we all working. Oh, you know what I'm yeah. saying? So we got, okay, let's get it in. You know what I mean? And that's what we have to do. Like, uh, it was another ministry we was a part of. They did benevolence offerings or something mm -hmm. like that for, like, burnout victims and all those type of things. You know what I mean? Because they looking out for them. You know what I mean? Like, the, the, uh, I remember the, the, what, was, what day was that? The family, uh, it was a couple weeks back for the mm -hmm. 7th Street. They had uh, got burnt out, yeah. so they put up something on the Facebook. So that's what somebody should have stepped up from the church. Amen. Like, hey, what y'all need? You know what I mean? Amen. You got such and such, such and such. Let's get it in. This is how we do it. Yeah. Because it's time to show love, man. Because, you know, a lot of a lot of churches, man, they looking out for self, man. Yes, they are. Like I said, a lot of people might be all stuff. You tripping. Oh, no, man. man, time out for that. It's time yeah. out for Amen. everything. Because people need to know that the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Yeah. So if we can come and give them a hand, we still yeah. in God's plan as we yeah. plan it to be prosperous. Yeah, amen. And, and that's all I'm about. I'm about letting people know that God is real. Letting people know yeah. that you ain't got to live like you come used on, to live. Oh, yeah. Amen. Make sure that we get bank accounts. Because I was a ghost for a long time. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. They're like, oh, you a ghost. You don't have any credit. I'm like, oh, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. like, I ain't got no credit. What can I do to try to get myself yeah. as a citizen, a real citizen, with buying power? You know what I yeah. mean? So I can buy some things uh -huh. so I can be, you know, viable. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. A lot of, you know, black people in general, oh, yeah. I don't use no bank, such and such. You mm -hmm. right. But when you want to buy something for real, yeah. when you want to buy your first home, you, when you want to do this, you need yeah. to have a big that. old list. Yeah. You know, they want to ask for two years of working history. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? People are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. Oh, I'm balling. Dude, you need to be working if you want to buy that. Who ain't trying to put stuff in your mama name? You know, your name, the Lord name. He said, before in your mother's womb, I knew you. Yes. He said, I knew you. I got plans to prosper you. I want your mind to be different. Amen. I want you to be having ownership of some things. Yes. So that means we got to go back to the drawing board. Like, hold up, let me get this stuff in order. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? Let me get my bank accounts in order. Yes. Let me get my credit in order. Let me get yes. my credit score up. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Let me do these things. And it's easy. Yes. But people got to teach you and lead you on the right, yes. right way. Because, you know, you know, still racist stuff going on. Amen. Don't nobody want to see us prosper. It's Black History Month. Might as well talk about it. Come you know man. what I'm saying? Amen. You know what I mean? People don't want to see us blessings of oh, people. No. You know, when people see me ride through, they probably still think I sell dope. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? But I don't. Go I'm just man. blessed. Amen. I got A1 credit. You know what I'm saying? Amen. Because what I have learned. Yeah. You know what I mean? I was asking questions. What yeah. shall I do to get my stuff in order? Yes. Amen. You know what I mean? Amen. I asked many people, but then it was a, a, a African American woman who is my bank lady who gave me the game. Yes. You know what I mean? I ain't racist or none of that, but I know some people don't want to see you blessed. No, no, no. You know what I mean? So she was giving me the game, and I done ran with it. Yes. Uh -huh. I said, okay, this is what I got to do. All. Boom, boom, boom. Yes, yes. And I'm telling my people, telling my friends, and, mm -hmm. and young men like, hey man, you working? Praise God. You been saving uh -huh. your money? You know, they're like, yes, love. I said, yeah, dude, save your money. Uh -huh. I said, you got your credit together? No, man, I ain't. Dude, you young. I wish I knew this at 18, 19. Yes. You know what I'm yes. saying? Yes. Then we would have been in a position to Amen. where you blast. You know what I mean? So now I say, this is what the Lord want to do. He want to prosper you. Yes. Yes. But it takes a point in time. You know what I'm saying? Yes. And then when you get in positions to do some things, God going to give you favor. Yes. Like we talked about favor. Even me and my wife, we got favor in the career we in now mm -hmm. because of the favor of the Lord. Oh, Least yes. option to buy. Yes. And I didn't have nothing mm -hmm. but God. But God, but it put me in a position. So now at that point in time, when it's time to buy, you can't deny me because A1 credit and we got finances on this. You know what I mean? So now let me usher in there. Then my payment's going to go down. You know what I mean? Now I'm being more blessed. You know what I mean? And then when I pay that off payment, it's more money. You have to acquire some things to get some things. But at the same time, make sure that you can keep it. Yes, yes, that's what yes. we're talking about today. Plans to be victorious. Oh, yes, like yes. I say, I'm on operation get my credit up. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. I didn't even know you could get a 900 because uh -huh. they don't tell you that. Come on, now. Everybody thinking, oh, 700. No, you a 900 is excellent credit. Uh -huh. I'm trying to get an 850. Yes. You know what I'm saying? People yes. won't tell you that. Oh, mm -hmm. man, if you get a 700, no, yeah. the cat doesn't stop there. Yeah. Come on, now. You know what I mean? We can be blessed like everybody else who's yes. not African-American. Uh -huh. Amen. Amen. You know what I'm saying? And the thing about them is, like we was talking about, we want to leave uh, stuff for the generations. Yeah. It's, 
it's you know what I mean. It's giving will. You know, some of these people riding around here because they ain't got willed some finances, yes. uh -huh. yeah. inheritance. Yes. yes. We want to get to that to where our kids coming up. Amen. Oh man, this is yes. left to me. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. When I turn eighteen, this is what I get. Yes. You know what I mean? That's yes. what we try to get to. We want to make sure that we change this whole outlook. Uh -huh. Yes. Businesses, entrepreneurs, yeah, you know, we yeah. need to be millionaires. Come on, yeah. man. So then we can employ, you know, it's about our whole mind change. Yeah. And that's what we want to do. We want to be planning to be victorious. Yeah. Amen. I'm, I'm shooting for the 850 right now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So as pastor, it flows down. Yeah. So if I got good credit, that means let's all get good credit. Yeah. If yeah. I'm using yeah. finances wisely, let's all, you know what I'm saying, yeah. use it wisely because the Lord want to use us yes, so we can help out others. Yeah. Oh, so whenever yes. it is time for us to get a building, oh, okay, mm -hmm. you know, we all got good credit. We need yes. this. Yes. You know, if we got tired paying people, we got people who working, hey, y'all, let's put up this for this. Not just yes. put up this because the church want to be blessed. Uh -huh. And then at the end of the day, they still get foreclosed on. Mm -hmm. no. That's the devil. Yes, Amen. <laughs> That's the devil. Because you signed a thing that said, I mm -hmm. love my church and I'm going to give $1,000. Oh, and you really Jesus. ain't got it. Because your kids need clothes. Uh -huh. You need, uh, what's that, I new guess. sofa outfits. You need, you know yeah. what I mean, beds. Yeah. You need a wash and dry. You ain't had a wash and dry for years. Going to the laundry. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no time for that. We got to have knowledge in this season. Ain't man? Like I said, it's Black History Month anyway. Us as African Americans, it's time to stand up. Stand up and be accounted for. Stand up and get what's yours. He said, plans to prosper you. I don't want you to be broke all day. I don't want you to have a poverty mentality. Amen. There ain't no reason why, you know, sometimes I'll be like, man, dude. I wanted this, I'm, but now that I got it, I'm like, man, I don't want people who thinking that I'm more than what I am. Because uh -huh. sometimes when you acquire things, you get that stigma, or you think you better than that. Uh -huh. No, I just changed my mind because yes. I came from that. Yes. That's why I can go back to the hood and witness to that. Because yes. I am that. Yes. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? People are right. like, oh man, slug. First day we got the truck, we back on the block. Mm -hmm. Kids, you know, they looking like, who is this? You know what I'm saying? They didn't even touch the truck. But it's just about the material. People are so materialistic, it's crazy. Amen. You know what I'm saying? But, oh, I wouldn't even be going in there with... No, we got to go to the hood. Amen. We got to go to the corporate America. We got to go to the suburbs. We got to let them know. We out here. The Lord want to change your thinking. Yes, And then the thing about it, the people who might already be rich and millionaires, they need to be changed their thinking so they can know how to give. Amen. You know, some yeah. people keeping it to themselves. Yeah. They got to know how to give. Yeah. Baby, you can't take nothing with you. That's why I say, when I leave, I want to be used up. Yeah. And, and also have some papers for my kids, kids, Amen. kids. Amen. You got this. Because yeah. the granddaddy did this. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's like <laughs> talking about my, my great-grandfather. He a bishop. Mm. People are like, oh, I didn't even know he still had some seeds. I know, because mm. everybody else want what belonged to me. Amen. Amen. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. This dude all the way from Mississippi, I'm cutting his hair. He's like, man, such and such, such and such. I'm like, yeah, that's my great granddaddy. Mm -hmm. What? Mm -hmm. I didn't know he had no kids. I know because people are trying to take my inheritance. Yes. Come on, man. Amen. Amen. But I ain't about to fight for it. You know what I'm saying? Because I ain't even, you know, I'm a, I'm a different type of preacher. You know what I'm Amen. saying? But the gift and the calling is on yes. me. Yes. Amen. You know? And then another Amen. thing, whatever belongs to me, going to come to me. me. Yes. But at the same time, we want to make sure that we are giving something Amen. back. Because yes. it's going to come back. Amen. Oh, it can be yes, blessings from people. It can be blessings oh, from the Lord. And that's what we want to do. Make sure that our plans are in yes. God's plans. Yes. So we can hit the community running. Amen. Amen. You got Amen. Time, right? Amen. Oh, praise God. That's good. This is just practical teaching today, y'all. I wish more people was here, but hey, oh, it, yes. it might be tax season. You know what I mean? Amen. But, for sure, for sure. Amen. And I want you to be wise. You know what I mean? Pastor going right. to do what you got to do. I'm going to help you out. But mm -hmm. if you got more money than pastor right now, mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. be blessed with it. Yeah. Use it correctly. Amen. What do you need now? Amen. And what can you put up for later? Amen. Amen. If you get a check, praise God. Put mm -hmm. something up. You know what I mean? That's right now, right. we should all be sitting on some bread. That's right. Yes. Yes. Because when the time comes mm -hmm. and we need a help, Enhance to someone else, yes. let's be that. Yes, 
Amen. You know what I mean? Yeah. Let's be that. Let's let's be that church that they come to like, man, I know I can count on. Yeah. I know I can get a prayer through. Yeah. I know they can pray for me. I know they can see yeah. me through. I got this child and he need to be over there. Yeah. Even if the parents don't go, we want to make sure that we got the kids on yeah. there. You know what I mean? That's why when you get the other vans and the other stuff to pick up the kids, yeah. not just to have the stuff sitting on the block so yeah. other people can see that you got a van. Oh, no. <laughs> you got a church van that ain't even driving it. Amen. So people can say, oh, yeah, I got a church van. Uh -huh. That's crazy, man. Mm -mm. Let somebody use that van and go to work. That's right. <laughs> you, know you know what I'm saying? Let it roll. Let, Let it roll. Man. You got a church Amen. van that ain't picking up no church members. Amen. Not even the people who don't even go to your church. Amen. Man, I'm on, I'm on their head today, boy. Amen. All right. But they want to look crazy. Uh-huh. Get Amen. these people in your church, Amen. man. By Amen. any means, not do it. You know what I mean? Bring them in up. Oh, yeah. Man, make it hard for us. So when we out there, y'all looking upside our head. We can't yeah. even do what we got to do because we looking over our shoulders. Yeah. You know, uh -huh. Try to stab us in the back yeah. while we out here. No <laughs> weapon for us. Exactly. Yeah. Young pastors. Ain't no other pastors came and hollered at me. Amen. But it's all good because now I see it. Oh, you know what I'm on. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? So now it's time for, hey, y'all, check it out. We're going to do this. We're going to put the commercial on charter. We're going to get this mm. billboard. You know what I mean? We're going to show the people we heard for them. You know what I mean? Now it's going to be like, oh, now they think they all that. Uh -huh. No, we're promoting the gospel. That's right. Feeding folks, mm. helping them out, yeah. getting them to another level. But at the same time, all that is in the plan of the gospel. Amen. Repent for the kingdom of heaven. Yeah. Let's Amen. get yourself together. Amen. We don't have to stay on public assistance. Come on. No. No we way. praise God for it to get you where yeah. you need to go because it's a point in time. Yes. Amen. Mm. Like me, I was on unemployment for a minute. I praise God. I used it till it needed to be used up. Uh -huh. Then I jumped out and said, now nah, it's time for me to get Amen. in. You know what I mean? Amen. That's why I talked to my other young guys. Oh, mm -hmm. man, I'm a fella. Me too. Yeah. Uh -huh. Got caught up with guns and dope. Me too. Yeah. You know what I mean? But I changed my whole Amen. life. So now when the law, I waved that in the day. You know? Uh -huh. Back in the day, I would have skirted out. Uh -huh. Hey, I ain't got nothing to hide. I'm legit. Amen. Amen. I own all of this. Amen. You know, I was just looking at people and saying, oh, man, Roblox and such. You uh -huh. know what I'm saying? What's up? Amen. I ain't got nothing to hide. No Whoa. weed, smoking, none of that. What's what's going on? You know. So That's we just gotta right. get our whole mind changed. Amen. We have to ask for things we don't understand about. Right. We gotta be blessed. Amen. So we can bless others. That's the That's key. Right. It says give. Yeah. Like That's Jesus right. was gave from his daddy. He said mm -hmm. he gave his only begotten son. It yes, says he, he gave. gave. Oh yes, he we did. gotta be like him. Amen. Give. Yeah, man. Amen. Amen. Give wisdom, give time, yes. talent, everything. Amen. Amen. That's all I got today, y'all. This practical man. Amen. Plan Amen. to be victorious. Because man, we gotta use everything we got for the kingdom of God. Amen. God, family, church. Yes. Never God, church, family. Uh -huh. Never. Never. Because then you will lose focus. Yes, you will. Oh man, I'm doing all this for the church, and at the end of the day, your family suffers. Amen. Yes. I'll never do that again. Amen. I'll never do Amen. it again. Amen. Amen. So I want y'all to just be blessed with this word. Amen. We're going to close our room. We got a community too. Forgot last week. Everybody said, bring it next week. Now they ain't here. We got this. We got it. <laughs> bring it in every week. Nah. Yes. Hallelujah. <laughs> Heavenly Father, I thank you, Lord God, for this practical yes. teaching, Lord God. Thank you for your word just to touch on plans, Lord God. We know that you have great plans for us. Yes. Lord God, plans to prosper us, Lord God. Give us hope yes. and future. Yes. Lord God, and everything that we have, we're going to use it for the glory of God. Yes. Lord God, we're going to sow to the church. We're going to yes. sow to the needs of the people, Lord God. We're going to sow to the arms of people who do not have, Lord God, and stand up, Lord God, as African Americans, Lord God, this Black History Month, we want to stand up true to ourselves, Lord God, but also help out all the culture, Lord God, multicultural, white, black, Chinese, whatever, Lord God, but we as a people need to change our minds, amen, Lord God, I just thank you, Lord God, for everyone present, thank you for the YouTube and the you streamers, Lord God, we just want them to know, Lord God, all y'all have to do is just put your plan in God's plan, and he want to make sure you succeed to be victorious. Lord God, as we leave this place, but never for your presence, Lord God, continue to be with us. Lord God, continue to go with us on our jobs, Lord God, in the highways and the byways. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. So we good.